The DSBN couldn't have asked for better weather to host the annual Special Olympics competition for students of all ages throughout the school board. Today we have the privilege of watching over 700 students and 78 schools from the DSBN participate in several track and field events and we just get to watch them shine. We have a, a 10 meter race, a 25 meter race, a 50 and a 100 meter race. We also have some different pit events. We have standing long jump, running long jump. We have a javelin throw and a baseball throw, a bean bag toss. So lots of events for them to go and participate in. The event kicked off with the Pine Grove Bucket Drummers, followed by the parade of athletes led by Special Olympics torchbearer Keem Slingerland. Keem is, is an, an amazing kid. We reached out and we, we always try to find a, a student with a wonderful story. And, and Keem came up. He's just he's an amazing, dedicated DSBN student. And as soon as I said, hey, we're looking for a torchbearer, one of our central staff said, I have got the perfect kid for you. And you can see by his smile, he was the perfect kid to, to, to carry the torch this year. Keem is a grade six student at Woodland Public School and felt honored to lead his peers down the track. Uh, pretty heavy. I was a little tiny nervous. <laughs> a little nervous, yeah. <laughs> well, you did great. Keem, tell me, what events will you be competing in today? I think javelin, running, running and sure, right? yeah, that's it. And have you been practicing a lot for today? Running, no. Nope. Running, you've been practicing running. Right? But not javelin. Not javelin. <laughs> And mom, how does it feel to have Keem be the torch bearer? I'm very proud. We really, really liked watching him walk with the, with the torch. Yes. Matt Bullard, a grade 12 student at West Lane Secondary School, was so proud to show off all the ribbons he won. Um, the, uh, one and two, uh, the, uh, one, two, three, four, and five. He's got five, folks. He's got five. That's incredible. Matt had a long list of family and friends he wanted to thank for helping him excel in his competitions. I, I shall always go for I to, uh, uh, my friend at school and uh, and my teacher, uh, uh, Jay, uh, and to, uh, hey buddy, so a uh, 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 cousin and my sister, uh, 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 I shall always have lots of more. Uh, my heart. He thanked everyone here to get him to this moment here. Everyone that helped him throughout the way. That's awesome, Matt. Congratulations. Is this the best day of the year? I guess so. Hi, I'm Michael from Ferndale, and I'm having a great time at the Special Olympics. An event this size couldn't be successful without the countless volunteers and staff members who went above and beyond to make this the best day ever for all the students who competed. So we have 12 members of our committee who are, are fully committed to the event. But on top of that, it's the DSBN staff that truly make this event amazing. If you look around, there's hundreds of, of people wearing yellow shirts like myself or orange shirts. And they truly are the ones that inspire the kids at each event. They're the ones that, that make the kids smile. They make sure that those children are successful and the support is endless. The mantra is let me win, if I, but if I cannot win, let me be brave in the attempt. Our mantra for this event is our answer is yes. If a student asks a question, our answer is yes. Congratulations to all of the athletes who ran faster, jumped longer, and threw further at the DSBN Special Olympics. You're all winners. In Welland, I'm Mark Wickabredo, reporting for The Source.